So in this video, this is OpenBVE, and in this video, we are not in London. Instead, we are actually in Hong Kong, and this time, we're going to be doing the Kwantung Climb, which is on the Hong Kong MTR in OpenBVE. So, smash like, subscribe, and click the ding dong bell. And let's get straight into this, shall we? So, yeah, the Hong Kong MTR is actually in open BVA, which is quite cool. This is the train that we're going to be driving. It's a CAF train, I believe. Um, I don't know too much about this train, but yeah, all I know is that it is a CAF train. And yeah, we're going to be doing the line from Central, which is where we are, just here, to Kwantung. Uh, let me show you the map by pressing F8. So yeah, so we're actually where the green dot is at Central in Hong Kong and today we're going to be going up to Kwantung. Well, I say today, this, this route is actually quite long so we're actually going to split this into two parts. So in part one, which is this video, we're going to go from Central to Kowloon Tong. And then in part two, which will be the next video, we'll go from Kowloon Tong to Kwantung because it's quite a long route, it takes about 40 minutes I believe. So, yeah, that is the plan for these two videos. So, let's go to the cab by pressing F1. So, this is the cab. I mean, it's not the greatest cab in the world, but it's a cab nonetheless. And let's set this train up, which is pretty much already set up. If I just show you the speed and the time. There we go. And this train does actually have an announcement. Um, so if you press enter, then you'll hear the announcement. It's actually very realistic. So let's listen to it. Okay. Right, so the train doors have closed. Let's go to our first stop, which is Admiralty. Bloody hell, this train accelerates quickly. <laughs> okay, yeah, so our first stop is Admiralty. So, yeah, I have actually been to Hong Kong, by the way. I forgot to mention that at the start, but yeah, I have been to Hong Kong. So, I do know a bit about this network, the MTR, the Mass Transit Railway. And, yeah, I could confirm that Central and, Ad and Admiralty are indeed two stations on Hong Kong Island. So, here we are at Admiralty. So let's slow down into this station. Overspeed, minus 136. Oh well. Here we are. 3 minutes 23 late, yeah, well, I was recording the intro, so it's you, it's you, it's you guys, that's the problem. Okay, so that was Admiralty, so we're now going to go underneath the water, uh, because Central and Admiralty are on Hong Kong Island. So we're going to go underneath the water towards Kowloon. And our first stop in Kowloon is Tsim Sha Tsoi. Or it's pronounced something like that. I'm not too sure how you actually pronounce it, but it's something like that. Um, so yeah, we're bending to the left as we go underneath the water. So basically, if you don't know what how Hong Kong if you don't know what Hong Hong Kong's geography is like, basically Hong Kong is split into three territories. So you've got um, Hong Kong Island, which is, yeah, like I said, where Central and Admiralty are. Then you've also got Kowloon, which is, well, basically this section. And then lastly, you've got the Northern Territories, which I guess is this section up here. So basically, the Northern Territories is the furthest territory away from the centre of Hong Kong. And then Hong Kong Island is where, like the major central business district of Hong Kong is. So, you know, it's where, it's where all the skyscrapers are, it's where all the tall buildings are. Um, and then Kowloon is like, 
it's like apartment blocks. It's like very dense, very dense, cramped apartment blocks. Loads of people live there. Um, and it's quite a nice area. So, yeah. Why am I going so slow? Yeah, this train does accelerate quite quickly, like it does in real life. Um, and yeah, it's a CAF train, which I am a big fan of, because these trains have epic sounding VF drives. Nice, that was good stopping. 0 0.1 meter overrun. That's, that's pretty much good to then, isn't it? Right, so the next stop is Jordan. Now, Jordan is a famous place in Hong Kong. It's basically where like the night market is and all that. Um, it's like very typical of Hong Kong, like the markets, um, where they sell all sorts of interesting stuff. So yeah, you'll find them a lot in Hong Kong, um, especially in Jordan. So yeah, and, Ho and Jordan is quite a nice part of Hong Kong. Um, my hotel was somewhere near Jordan when I went. So, you know, stations are very close together on this network. We're already at Jordan. Try not to overshoot. Now, in real life, all these stations have platform edge doors. They're not actually mapped into this. I'm not too sure why. I guess it's a bit old. Slightly underrun, but oh well. Right, next station is Waterloo. Waterloo? I've never heard of Waterloo in Hong Kong. Is Waterloo a place? I've never heard of it. I thought Waterloo was in London. But I guess it's also in Hong Kong. Hmm. That's interesting. So we're doing 90 kilometers per hour. So miles per hour, that's 55. Yeah, that is some fast acceleration. To be fair, I have no idea what the speed limit is. Where here does it say what the speed limit is? I'm just going to go as fast as I want because that is how it works. If you don't know what the speed limit is, just go as fast as you want. That, that's, that's, some, that's advice. That's something, that is some French person transportation advice there. If you don't know what the speed limit is, just go as fast as you want. Because you can't blame yourself. We are at Waterloo, and no, not the one in London, nor the battle, nor the song. Tell you what, that announcement and the doors do sound very accurate compared to the real Hong Kong NTR, real life. The, they do they do sound the same um yeah in real life the, the announcement says says it in chinese first then it says it in english um so yeah translates it I, I always find those doors closing they kind of sound like a cash machine like you know when they withdraw your money am i the only one who thinks that or am i being a bit weird i don't know What's this station? I uh, can't read it because the word Edward is un it's in a way. Oh, I've overshot this. Oh well, I've overshot this. Oh. Please correct your stopping position. Nah. Argyle. That sounds Scottish. Hmm. I think there is actually a bit of a Scottish influence in Hong Kong, if I remember right. Um, I mean, obviously, Hong Kong used to belong to the UK, but then it went independent in 
So, next station is Prince Edward. Prince Edward, what a weird name. So, we're going over here now. Ooh. Right, here we are coming into Prince Edward. Passenger discomfort, minus 20. Oh well, we're on the MTR, not a bullet train. What do you expect? So the platform's actually on the left of us now, so we're opening the left doors for once. Well, that's some good stopping. Well, 4.4 metres underground, not really then, is it? Right, next up is the penultimate stop for part one, which is Shek Kip May. Or is it Shek Kip Mai? Shek Kip May? Shek Kip Mai? Not too sure how you pronounce that. Let me know in the comments below if you do know. Um, but obviously, I'm not from Hong Kong, so therefore I do not know. But all I do know is that um, Kowloon is pronounced Kowloon. So, here we are coming into the next stop. Stops are very close together. Um, I mean, not all stops are close together on the MTR. If you go on, if you go on a Tung Chung line towards um, Sunny Bay and Tung Chung, um, the stops are very far apart actually. It takes about 10 minutes to get between two stops and the trains get some really fast speed um, on that section. I don't know if the Tung Chung line's in this game. If it is, then I'll definitely do this. So here we are at the penultimate stop for part one. Then in part two we'll do Kowloon, Kowloon Tong to Kwon Tong. So here we are at Shetkit Mai. A bit like no one here, um, which is a bit weird. But oh well. In real life, the Hong Kong MTR is really busy. Um, I think it's probably busier than the, than the London Underground, which is kind of something. I mean, in Hong Kong, you don't, you don't have the Oyster card. Instead, you have the Octopus card, which is quite interesting to use. Right. Final stop for part one, Kowloon Tong. Yeah, this train's actually very accurate. Um, in real life, the trains do look like this. Um, in real life, there's actually LED lights um, showing which stations you've gone past and which stations you're approaching. Um, it's really cool, actually. And yeah, this is the Hong Kong MTR. Um, so we're actually doing the line from Central to Kwantung. I think Kwantung's over here, I think. I uh, can't actually read it. And then Central's this station. Um, let's go to... Oh, that's so much you break fast in there we go. Accidentally put onto emergency brakes there. Right, here we are coming into Kowloon Tong. Then in part two, yeah, like I said, we'll go from here to Kwan Tong. And yeah, I think I will do more of the Hong Kong NTR because it is quite a good system in this game. Oh, look at that stopping though. That was perfect. Oh, 1.3 meters underground. Really? 
8 seconds to late, that's not too bad. So, here we are at Kwantong, and uh, let me just exit this train, there we are, and yeah, this is Kowloon Tong, so yeah, in part 2 we'll go from here to Kwantong, so, until then, thank you so much for watching, my name is Great Western Transportation, and I will see you, I don't know when, bye! Hey,